Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 Custom ROM. Reviews, you can see here the ROS is 12.1 G apps variant. This is it recognized as Karna. It's applicable for both Surya and Karna. You can see the security patch update is 5th July 2022 and this is the build of you can see August 15 and kernel version is 4.14288 kernel has been used arrow kernel and android version is 12.1 there is both vanilla os and g apps variant flash the g apps variant for better experience no need to flash separate g apps and get error 1 error 6 why we need that just flash the g apps variant and i have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes and 9 milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 162 and average is 155 and minimum is 131 million JPS and it's throttled to 94% of its max performance there is a little bit of throttling you can see there are peaks and spikes you can see it's fine enough for me at least and you, ca you get a benchmark results like Geekbench let me show you the single score and multi scores you can see 556 single score and multi scores 1650 and kernel as I said before Linux 4.14.2 8 arrow kernel has been used here the single score is little bit better compared to any other AOSP ROMs and this ROM is meant for very good bat left I'll give number one position for very good bat left and second goes to spark OS if you watch my frequent videos you will get everything up to date and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon when i upload this kind of videos you'll get notified and if you like the video give it a like i'll get motivated to make similar kind of videos and benchmark results continuing with antidote benchmark you can see here the score is very good 363448 and uh, temperature raise was 3.3 degrees celsius and two percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing this is also fine the scores are really good but this is not a gaming rom some of them are using it as a gaming rom i will see comments i will read each and every comment on my channel and i will reply also if i don't understand that language i'll try to translate and reply to that comment that's how it happens and you get gallery application here pre-installed and uh, safety net status you can see here it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like phone pay paytm whatever you want to use you can use that that's going to work fine drm info also you get level one certification you can watch all the OT application in hd i mean high definition that's possible here and google go camera is pre-installed here for basic functions and video taking that's fine if you want something extraordinary and if you want high video capability then you can go to always gcam ports my recommendation is always arno build gcam if you watch my all previous videos i always recommend the same and people can get that gcam from instagram or telegram but don't spam in instagram guys don't ask any questions you can ask directly in this video in the comment section i will give replay rather faster compared to instagram that you need to keep in mind only the link has been shared in instagram not your i will don't give any tech support in social media only in the youtube i can give you the tech support in q and a sessions and you can free feel free to comment on in the comment section only don't spam in the instagram i hope you guys understand that and regarding settings you get basic settings here it's the font size and the overall us size is little bit smaller and coming to battery life as i said before you get a very good battery life you can see one day six hours left and five hours ago it i am been using from last evening here again this is one more evening coming up it's really good that good the bat life is just even i charged once and i will show you the 33 watt charger support also for you guys you can see it is showing charging rapidly as you can see there is a 33 watt charger support also there are some of the settings here you can see in the display you get a dark theme. that's not in pitch black condition that i really don't like it you won't get any customization in this room colors you can keep to saturated natural boosted and you can adjust the rgb strength from here and auto refresh rate i kept minimum to 60 and maximum to 120 Hertz, which is fine the user interface wise this is very good and lcd features don't enable that unless until you play game when you play the game just disable that if you don't want that you can try this out i don't recommend those things it will drain the battery and heat up the device very quickly accessibility menu is given that's fine all android 12 features are working fine coming to security you get only fingerprint unlock and encryption and rom is encrypted by default it's not decrypted 
and flashing that is very important i am using 12.5.8.0 firmware very soon we can use mio 13.0.1.0 firmware also once that is available i will be giving in the community section do check out the community section always in my channel itself it is available and uh, what i said is the fingerprint unlock there is no face unlock here fingerprint unlock is very quick you can see just tap gets unlocked just tap unlock there is no face unlock whatsoever but you can use this fingerprint unlock as a basic unlocking your smartphone in this particular arrow is latest version for poco xc slash nfc flashing method as i said 12.5.8.0 firmware on this rom file use g apps variant only don't necessarily need the when levels if you know how to flash separate g apps then you can flash that but i recommend to go with g apps variant and then format the data and reboot to system this is a method and in the system even in the gesture settings it's quite similar you get swipe to screenshot three fingers and uh, one handed mode those things are fine advanced restart is also fine here but in the system navigation gesture navigation you can check out here there is option of gesture bar enable or disable better to disable that because that's very thin you can't even see that if i enable as you can see it's very thin and it's not get any customizable options in this particular room that's the two things they need to add in the arrow is one is the dark mode the pitch black condition the other thing is the uh, the gesture bar length adjustment and customization and this is a quick settings panel you can see this rom is completely smooth for day-to-day -day purpose and even for gaming also you can try it out as a daily job. but if you want a very good battle life and charging speeds of 33 watt charger then you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and this is arrow is review guys i'll be making frequent reviews for poco sc have a look on poco xs operate playlist in my channel you get plenty of videos and we'll meet you with another interesting videos guys until that keeps smelling baba for now